Let's talk Ozempic. Ozempic, it is literally the hottest drug in the country right now. now literally, I'm, the drug is so hot. Literally. I'm going to preface this by saying that I'm not endorsing it, but I think we should talk about it. It is a weight loss injectable drug that is absolutely taking over Hollywood, taking over the world in terms of what people are talking about with losing weight. Uh, celebrities are being accused of taking it, denying it. Some are actually admitting that they have. Belle, you had me at weight loss drug and you lost me at injectable. <laughs> Inge anything injectable, you're like, yeah. Now, well, it's injectable. It's a once weekly injectable drug that, like I said, Hollywood uh, stars have been accused of taking to lose heaps of weight because it's actually made for people with type 2 diabetes. That's who it's designed for. Right. Uh, it suppresses your appetite and it slows down digestion. That's how it works. Now, I thought, and I only learned that recently, I thought it was an actively like calorie and fat burning drug. That's why it was happening so quick and people were losing all this weight so suddenly. It actually just suppresses your appetite and it slows down, yeah, your digestion so you just have food sitting in your Isn't stomach for longer. kind of impossible to get as well, which kind of sucks for the people with type 2 diabetes that actually need it. Absolutely. And then if people are using it willy-nilly to, to lose weight, it seems Absolutely. like a bit of Absolutely. It's of an meant issue. for people that are obese and need to lose heaps of weight, but people are using it to lose like 5 to 10 kilos. Uh, now, like I said, not endorsing it, but 132410, if you are on Ozempic, I would love to hear from you. 132410, if you're taking it, uh, whether you've been prescribed it or not, I guess. Uh, the latest person that's been thrown under the Ozempic bus is Chris Jenner, as of this morning. Um, she posted on her Instagram a photo of her in Tuscany, and everyone in the comments is like, whoa, you are half the size, must be on Ozempic. Um, Kim understand. Kardashian, Khloe Kardashian, uh, even people here in Australia, um, in the media... Even people in this industry have been accused of taking it. Not myself, but there are a lot of people that are denying it. And it's it's everywhere you turn at the moment. If it's such a wonder drug for losing weight and it's for people with diabetes, type 2 diabetes, why don't they just market it as a weight loss drug? Good point, Ben. I, I don't understand. know. Maybe because... is, it, is it dangerous? Like, is there side effects? Like, it's like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's like if you're misusing it. Yeah then it's like maybe they well, yeah, can't actually effects. market it. Yeah. They've listed a few side effects like pancreatic cancer and failure and liver failure, but... Then again, like, that, that, got that's, side effects. that's horrible. But yeah, I think, yeah, you, yeah. you literally check the back of like a Zyrtec and it's like, you could die from this. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, yeah. I feel and like they have, to, <laughs> <laughs> they have to list like everything. Hey, now, look, can the, I say, the phone lines are full. Yeah, like, the phone lines have absolutely lit up. Cass in South Moraine, good morning. You're taking a Zempic. Hi, yes, good morning. How are you guys? Good. Tell us about it. Um, so I'm, I'm on it. I've been on it for about three or four months. Um, and I think I've lost about eight kilos in Whoa. that time. Cass, were you prescribed it or not? Um, like a, online, it was like an online doctor platform. So I didn't go through his GP, um, but I still had a consultation with an online doctor and had to pass all the prerequisites. Yeah, right. Um, so from that, you can get a script and you can go to the chemist and get it. Not even. So they just post it to me. Whoa, oh, wow. Um, wow. That's interesting, isn't it? It's like a dark web. Cass, and <laughs> obviously, like, you know, uh, to a lot of people who, you know, are body conscious and they're struggling with their weight and they, you know, they yeah. try everything and it doesn't work or whatever. Are you, you know, eating healthy and going to the gym and doing all those things as well? Or is the only thing that's changed in your life is you've started this, this drug? So, to put in perspective, I've just done a Macca's run. Um, <laughs> Yeah. So, um, I look. I I try to eat well, um, and I I n didn't really eat very bad. It was more just like I was snacking a lot. Yeah. Um, between meals, my meals are actually okay. Um, but I found that since being on the on Zempic, I um, I'm more particular with what I eat because like I'm not that hungry. So I'm like, okay, well, what I'm going to eat is going to be good for me. I'm not going to sit and wow. eat something that's not bad. Like I'm I'm, I'm more aware of how much. I'm actually putting in my body. Yeah. Cass, do you feel healthy? I do. It took a bit of time. Um, for me, I did have side effects, um, adjusting to it. Um, but um, I know that that was a bit of a rare case. Like I had like nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, all the fun stuff. But wow. it, it was only for the one week I had that. and um, But I, I, I expected it. So... Yeah. I had all the 
help I needed from the doctors that like switch up your diet. So I just lived on porridge for a week and I was good. Um, yes, but- I don't know. It doesn't sound healthy. I'm not going to lie. Like it's sort of, you know, I get it. Like obviously everyone wants to like look their best, and but like mm. vomiting, diarrhea, living off porridge for a week. I mean, that's... That can't be good Cass, for you. Cass, well, you look, you're not alone. Jennifer in Essendon joins us now. Jennifer, you were on it, but you're not on it anymore. Is that correct? Correct. Thank you so much, guys. Um, I love listening to you guys in the morning. So oh, I really, really oh, thanks, um, appreciate um, listening to you guys. It makes, me, makes my day. Oh, thanks, um, yeah, <laughs> I was, uh, I call it semi-glutide rather than ozempic because I got it from a compound chemist. I wanted to make sure I, you know, there is such a shortage in Australia, so I didn't want to take it away from people who needed it the most, I right. people that have diabetes. Mm. Um, yes, you do get, you do get um, side effects. <laughs> so did you get the same, um, but, did you get the same side effects as that previous caller? Oh, look, I wasn't vomiting or anything, but I definitely, um, I definitely had it coming out of my body. You know, mm. I suppose that's the only way the weight's going to come out. Mm-hmm. Um so yeah, I definitely was going to the bathroom a lot more, um, and there was nausea. But um, look, I for me, you know, I started at 0.25, went to um, 0.5, then went to 0.75, and then went to one. Whoa. There's some people that aren't getting the proper advice um, from their doctors or getting the guidance that they need. I recommend doing as much research as possible and sticking to the the actual um, sticking to what suits you. So yeah, I did it. I I lost the weight that I needed. The doctor just said I said to the doctor I needed to lose about five kilos. Mm. Went to the pharmacy, got what I needed. Um, was nauseous and everything. Um, lost the five kilos. Went um, got off it. Um, have had a craving for chocolate afterwards. <laughs> um, but I'm still trying to exercise and make sure that it just stays off and just yeah. um, eat healthy and you know just yeah. doing we- the right thing. Obviously, it wasn't. It was a really you know. It wasn't a fun time completely, but, you know, you live with it and it's what I wanted to do. And it that was like five kilos that I really just couldn't take off. And so, yeah. Jennifer, quick one for you. So then now you're not on it anymore. When you stopped taking it, did you put the weight back on or did it stay off? Uh, I put one or two kilos back on, but I've been able to manage it. Okay. So, so it, it just steered you. It put, it put you back on track uh, or, you know, in yeah. the direction you wanted yeah, to be. Right. Jen, thank you so much for giving us a call. Uh, now, I, I really want to chat to this person. Yeah. Uh, Sandra, we're talking Ozempic this morning. We've asked 13, 24, 10, are you taking it? Sandra, now you're taking it for diabetes. Is that correct? Yeah, that is correct. And that first caller has made me really angry because oh. I can't get it at the moment. Oh, <laughs> Sandra, wow. I bet. So the, yeah. obviously, yeah. So uh, tell your story for us. How do you feel about the whole thing? Yeah, so I'm obviously taking it for my type two diabetes, and I've been on it for um, uh, nearly two years now. But there was a huge gap of about eight to ten months, um, particularly, mm. um, that I couldn't get it, and I've been able to get it for the last three months. But I went to go and get up another prescription. Um, dose of it to this week, and I can't get it. Yeah, That's, so, I mean, I'm on the so, I'm on the highest dose of it, yeah. and you know, for people that do it just because they you know want to lose weight, yeah. you know, they're risking people's health, and you know, it does help my control my blood sugar levels, uh-huh. and yeah, it just makes me really frustrated. So, as someone with the diabetes, Sandra, do you also get the weight loss or no? Yeah, no, I've lost um, about yeah, I do. Yeah. I lost, lost about ten kilo yeah. um, okay. on it, and um, you know, and I have to go through an endocrinologist um, to get my prescription. My local GP gives me the prescription as well, but I had to get it first for my endocrino- endocrinologist yeah. to get the prescription to do it properly through all the right channels. And people can just get it online. It's yeah, just really yeah, frustrating. that's what I I don't get because obviously it's like you can't just jump online and. Order some it's cocaine, sound- you know what I mean? Like it's like well, it's, yeah. it seems like it's this weird thing where it's like some people have to go through all these like hoops, hoops, and then there's just loopholes where other people can just like be ordering, it and that's why there's a little bit of a shortage for it. Sandra, I can't yeah, thank you enough exactly. for, for giving us a buzz and sharing your side of it. It's a very important side of this whole Ozempic, um, dare I say, trend, mm. fad, yeah. uh, craze yeah. where everybody is trying to get their hands on it and there are people like you that really, really need it. Um, it it's really important, like I said, that we shed light on your side of it. Thank you so much for giving us a buzz. Uh, and like I said, this was not an ad for Ozempic. Well, I mean, I almost want to get that right. first caller's contact and then we can give it to Sandra so she can actually get it. Yeah, true. I'm still digesting those Ozempic calls. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, it's um, 
It's a very interesting area, obviously, and you, you've probably seen Ozempic floating around online of all admit, these celebs. Like a week ago, I hadn't heard about it. And then I, remember, yeah. I think you said it, and I was like, I don't even know what you're talking about. And that, it's one of those things when people say it, then you see it everywhere. Like, because if you didn't know <laughs> well, it was a thing, it's just sort of... I think, Liam, it's also because it's been taking off so much and so quickly as well. Well, there was a few, there's a few big names, like I think um, it, Chris Jenner, you were saying this yeah. morning. Mm. The Wasn't Kardashians. There, there was one, like, um, earlier in the week as well, someone. Oh, Roxy Jasenko. Roxy Jasenko. Yeah, so she Sydney, came out yep. and said, yes, I have um, been taking it. But yeah, there are, there are local people. In well, yeah, Bill, yeah. she keeps no. kind of she keeps kind of teasing that there <laughs> are other people in the Australian media scene that are taking it, but yeah. she doesn't want to say their names. No. I'm not going to do that, but hey, you can. You can if do someone, math. if someone were to DM us on the Bentley Bell no, Instagram, would you then no, tell no. them? No, no, I you will. Just, hey, use I your will. eyes. If wow, you, that if you DM quickly. us on the Bentley Bell Instagram, I'll tell you who Bell says is taking it. No, don't, Ben. <laughs> don't do that.